Good morning, John Lane, Fraser Valley News. Your morning news update for this Wednesday, July the 8th. And uh, again, rem keeping, still keeping our eye on the freshet. Uh, it looks like the peak should be right about now as we speak. Uh, so we'll, we'll be keeping on that. If there's any photos or videos you want to uh, send us anywhere along the Fraser River in the valley that uh, you feel kind of dramatic, hey, feel free to send it to us, fen at shaw.ca, fen at shaw.ca, or tag us on fa Facebook or Twitter. ICBC road tests. Yeah, for young drivers, I know, it's been a long wait, and the protocol is now underway, but a lot of those road tests will be back up and running as of today. Fraser Health de declaring the COVID-19 outbreak at Tabor House uh, Retirement Community in uh, Abbotsford as over, so that is good news. State of emergency, though, for the province uh, is now extended to July 21st. To be honest with you, this is going to go on for the rest of the year, but... They're doing it in increments just in case something goes, takes a turn for the better. Then all you have to do is take a look at our neighbors, but I digress. Uh, also, three in four Canadians would take a COVID-19 vaccine. So anti-vaxxers are up in arms about this latest poll that is out from uh, Angus Reid, I believe. Uh, if there is something we should know about, let us know. FVN at Shaw.ca. FVN at Shaw. Dot ca. Have yourself a great day. Mix of sun and clouds for the rest of the day. Chance of a shower. And we're still waiting for that screeching, scorching summer heat. Hopefully sometime soon. By the way, let us know how your mosquito situation is too. FVN at Shaw.ca. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News and Chill TV.